It is estimated that the average person spends about two and a half hours on social media each day. Newsline reporter Lauren is in the newsroom. Lauren, how does that time spent affect mental health? After attending a junior high parents' night for her child where the presenter claimed social media was, quote, destroying kids and of the devil, Coyne decided to take matters into her own hands to discover the truth. The results? Not what Coyne expected. Which was surprising, right? It went against her hypotheses, because what you hear from news media is that social media is kind of responsible for this big mental health crisis we're having. Eight years were spent tracking over 500 young adults' social media habits and mental health through yearly questionnaires. Yeah, so you could take two individuals, they both spend an hour on social media. You know, person A has a great experience. They feel good afterwards, they're really connecting, so they feel better about themselves. Person B has a terrible experience, they're being cyberbullied, um, they're disconnecting, right, they're feeling lonely, terrible experience. Coin recommends empowering people to use social media in a healthy and productive way, like BYU student Kayla Fagan. I've taken so many classes at BYU to make me more media literate and aware of what I'm seeing and why I'm seeing it. So I feel like that's mainly the reason why I don't, it doesn't have that much effect, of, effect on me. Coyne and colleagues are now using their research to further study if suicide is related to their findings. Back to you. Thanks, Lauren.